Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and run APK files on Windows 11. Now there are actually a few methods to do this, but we're going to try to show you the most easy and efficient one where you don't need to be using any of the third-party apps online. So we're going to start by making sure that we have virtualization active on our computer. So you can check that by going to your task manager. So right over here, just head to performance and then make sure CPU as is selected. And then in this list of options, you should see virtualization enabled right over here. Now, if this is disabled or is not visible on your end, then you're going to have to run your BIOS on your computer. So this is the settings section that you need to access upon the startup of your computer. Whenever you're booting your computer, you should see the specific shortcut key that you need to press to access BIOS. So it can be F12, delete, F11, F2. It depends on your model or the model of your PC. So uh, just check out which button it is. And then you're going to have to activate the virtualization there. It also depends if you're using AMD or Intel. So just make sure to use the appropriate settings to activate virtualization. Now, once you've activated virtualization, the next thing you need to check is the turn windows features on or off. So we're going to head to this section. Just search for this on the taskbar. You should be able to find it easily. And then scroll down and make sure that virtual machine platform is enabled. We're going to be needing this so that we can access our APK files later on. All right. So once you have those uh, in your checklist, so you need the virtual machine platform and virtualization enabled on your PC, then we are good to go. Our next step would be to head to our Microsoft store. Now we're going to be looking for a specific app. So we're going to search for APK installer on WSA. There are probably other apps that are also reliable, but this one is pretty popular. So we can just go with this one. So just look for APK installer dash WSA. Then we're going to go ahead and download this on our computer. So this might take a while and we're just going to let it run until we have the app ready on our computer. All right, so we're just going to let it download for a bit. All right, so our app is downloaded and ready to go. As you can see right here, it was around 1.30 or 50 something gigabyte. So uh, that's pretty big of a file. But again, we're going to be using this mainly for running our APKs later on. You can also check out other options if you'd like. There's a bunch of options available on the Microsoft Store. As you can see, they're all uh, rated well. We have the app installer for mobile, WSA manager, WSA tools, APK, APK file installer. And there's a bunch of other options here that are uh, that you need to pay for. So just uh, feel free to choose which one works for you best. Just make sure that they're highly rated and trusted by a lot of users. So once you have your APK installer, we're going to go ahead and run this application. So it opened up this browser for us. We're just going to close that. This version currently does not support Windows 10 system page. So you need to up upgrade for this for Windows 11 on this uh, particular app. So we're going to try to do some tinkering around to fix this. All right, so we actually went with a different one. So we went for the WSA manager with APK installer since we're running Windows 10. Uh, this APK installer in particular is only specific for Windows 11. So this one is actually much smaller in file size. So we're going to be using this one. Now we're going to go ahead and run this application. So I'm going to get started and then install APK installer. WSA hasn't been launched yet. Please check the WSA status to start. 
All right, we're going to check this. All right, we're going to go ahead and follow these prompts so that we can get started with our installer. All right, so we've gone ahead and fixed the prerequisites to have our APK installer running. So it actually has a nice little guide on each of the step that will help you finish each process. So here you just need to install the WSA that comes with this app in particular. And then you're going to launch the WSA and then the Android debug bridge or ADB. You're going to have to launch it and then you're going to have to connect WSA with ADB. So all of that requires you to uh, enable developer mode. So just make sure to do that. Each of them will guide you through each step and it will also show you where you need to uh, enable the developer mode. So just follow along the steps and it will get you nice and ready with your APK installer. So once you have that, you can go ahead and install your APK on your computer. So you're going to need to enter your browser first and then look for the particular app that you wish to download or install. So you're going to have to download the APK first. So feel free to look for the app or the game, whichever it is that you want to run on your computer. Uh, this is a nice website that you can use. It's APK Pure. You don't need to have an account to download the apps. And pretty much all of them are for free, I believe, unless the app in particular needs payment. So just feel free to search for whichever app. So for example, maybe uh, Subway Surfers, a pretty common game on mobile. And you can just download the APK straight up and then run it on your APK installer. All right. So for running the APK or app, or rather for installing it on your computer, we're gonna, you're going to have to head back to your installer right over here. And for this particular app, you can use the APK installer and manager. And then just click on the plus button or icon right here. However, do take note that this is only a trial version, so you're going to have to upgrade to premium eventually if you'd like to keep adding APKs. So since this is compatible with Windows 10, it also works with Windows 11. And you can also, again, check out other options on the Microsoft Store to check out which works for you best. They should follow the similar process when it comes to installation and setting up. So here we have an app that's ready. So we can uh, go ahead and run this Amazon App Store by just double clicking it. And it will run this app for us. Right here. So you have the app info. You can see that it looks very similar to how it would on an Android device. You can disable, force stop, and open. Similar to the functions that you have on an Android device. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see, it works and functions as if we're using an Android device. So here you can just straight up create a new Amazon account, or if you're already an Amazon customer, you can just sign right in. So that's basically how the apps work on our APK file manager. Again, uh, you don't have to limit yourself to this particular app. It should follow the same process with any other apps that are available on the Microsoft Store. So feel free to browse whichever works best for you. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.